Hello everyone, this is Mustafa Sadiq. Today I will talk about something called channel state information, which is uh, one of the features of uh, modern wireless uh, communication uh, technology. Uh, it started to show up in the wireless uh, communications uh, after the uh, release of the 802.11n standard from the IEEE after uh, the year 2009. And uh, to understand what is uh, channel state information, first we need to understand what is uh, MIMO, which is the multiple input, multiple output antenna array. Uh, this is uh, technically uh, the new configuration of antennas and new uh, wireless uh, systems. Uh, instead of having only one antenna to send and receive in omnidirectional way, uh, new wireless LAN cards and uh, devices started to have multiple antennas, uh, multiple physical antennas that. Uh, uh, will uh, be used to increase the data rate to improve the capacity and the bit error rate of all the wireless systems. Uh, usually they use uh, something called orthogonal frequency division multiplexing which is the, uh, the modulation uh, technique that they use and uh, they are really useful for the new wireless technology. As you can see uh, instead of having only one antenna to send and one antenna to receive now uh, nowadays we have uh, the sending system w which has uh, like bis bit streams uh, to come in serial or in parallel way uh, then they will have a signal processing and then it will be sent to multiple antennas to send the same signal f using different antennas uh, then the uh, the signals that is sent by the these uh, multiple antennas in the sender will be received also by multiple antennas in the receiver of course then there will be another uh, signal processing in the receiver side uh, these uh, signals will be delivered with, as we said, increase uh, with better uh, data rates and uh, better uh, capacity and with uh, better uh, uh, signal to noise ratio and uh, better bit error rates. Uh, after knowing this, we now can uh, define what is channel state information. If we assume that the transmitted signal is x1, x2, x3 to xn or xm and the received signal is y1, y2, y3 until the yn then the channel state information is the information that is uh, in between it is like the mixing system of the signals going from all the in transmitting uh, antennas to the receiving antennas so uh, usually we have if we have uh, y of f t f and t equals h of f and t uh, m multiplied by x of f and t plus some noise so if this is the sent sent signal then this is the received signal which will uh, consist of the sent signal uh, convoluted or uh, mixed with some ch channel state information uh, plus some noise so this h of ft is the complex value channel frequency response cfr uh, for the carrier frequency f uh, measured at the time t so the channel state information is the information of the media between the transmitter and receiver the mixing system between the transmitter and receiver using uh, the MIMO technique. Uh, also to clarify that more uh, channel state information uh, referred to the channel properties in the wireless communication. It also describes the signal propagation from the transmitter to the receiver. It can be represented as a magnitude and phase according to this equation. So just imagine that the transmitted signal will get uh, mixed together in the media between the transmitter multiple antennas and the receivers uh, multiple antennas and uh, the mixing system or what is uh, showing the mixing system is called uh, channel state information uh, how can we collect the channel state information thankfully there are a lot of tools online right now uh, that are uh, already programmed uh, by modifying uh, like the Wi-Fi drivers of a lot of uh, 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 wireless LAN cards uh, like the 5300 uh, from Intel. Uh, some people already uh, worked on uh, modifying the device driver to collect the channel state information and show it uh, virtually to people. Uh, this tool that you can find uh, it by just uh, searching uh, CSI tool. Uh, this is the first thing Linux uh, 802. Uh, 11n uh, CSI tool is used by a lot of researchers around the world right now uh, to collect the channel state information and then work on it. There are a lot of uh, publications about this thing and uh, there are a lot of users of this technique right now and uh, 
you can find the installation uh, instructions here it is all, uh, usually uh, installed on uh, Linux Ubuntu and uh, it is preferred to be uh, 1204 uh, you can go to the github uh, the website for this uh, tool and uh, know the details of all of this you can also get help from this uh, website um, as we can s uh, you you, uh, you can reach the frequently asked questions you can get help uh, you will see that there are th hundreds of questions that have been asked about this tool and uh, the answers for all of them how to use this tool for the MATLAB uh, how you can visualize the change in the state uh, of the channel uh, while having something in between and uh, there are a lot of details about this uh, uh, tool which is uh, really one of the best tools to use uh, to discover the properties of the channel state information uh, finally uh, the benefits of this uh, thing is to study the wireless uh, channels and their benefits and uh, uh, properties the applications of this uh, uh, new technology it is relatively new as I said is uh, that it is used by a lot of people around the world to uh, detect the human gestures uh, or they recognize human gestures uh, to create smart homes smart offices smart buildings and it is uh, providing a cheaper uh, replacement for remote controls because uh, right now you you will or we will be able to control uh, a lot of um, electronic devices by just uh, changing your gesture or cha uh, clicking or move waving or doing something with your hands or your body uh, this is a kind of revolutionary uh, tool and technique that uh, a lot of people that are researching about it right now uh, all over the world uh, and uh, I just wanted to give this uh, brief introduction about this tool and its benefits and uh, its powerful uh, uh, future uh, hopefully it can be helpful for uh, researchers uh, somewhere around the world thank you very much